Okay, so this story takes place around September 10th, 2023, okay? It was a nice night, and I was just going for a bike ride, right? So, I went to a bike ride to the Walmart parking lot just to see if there were any vapes on the ground because at the time, I was big into vapes and shit, right? I was into cigarettes, I was into vapes. Um, Y'all like my drug stories, so... 615 subscribers, I will make a story on how I almost got into lean, so... It is raining, so I gotta hurry up and make the story so I can close this sunroof. So, um... Yeah, I was in the Walmart parking lot. Um, I found a couple of good cigarettes. Um, then I checked the smoke shop to see if there were any good vapes there. Because then again, like this story takes place pretty much around my peak drug days, alright? So, I didn't find any vapes this night. I really didn't find any good cigarettes. I think I found like one cigarette that was pretty much this long. Because then again, like during my drug days, like I would fucking smoke anything, like... Hell, if I found a cigarette on the ground, like, I would probably fucking smoke it. I gotta hurry up. Uh, let's see. So, um, this night, a girl, uh, I also met up with a girl this night. Um, like, she was, she was with her friends, so I didn't really want to bother her, but she was like, Vince, what are you doing? Vince, what are you doing over here? And I was just like, you know, I'm just going for a bike ride, you know? Gotta get out of the house and enjoy the night. You know what I mean? So, she was like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, she was with her friends going to uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. So, I really didn't want to bother her. Because, you know, if a girl is with her girlfriends, you don't want to bother her. Because girls stick together. Girls need their time. Men, men, stick, together, get, men stick together with other men. And they need their time. So, just a lesson for y'all. So, uh, a couple minutes later, like, an officer approached me this night. Officer approached me saying, hey, do you, do you know where you're going? And I was like, yeah, officer, I know what I'm going. I'm, I'm just going for a bike ride, you know, just minding my own business. And he was like, do you need a ride? Boy, do I fucking need it that night, because after what I'm about to say. But just keep watching, just keep watching. So, um, I was like, yeah, I'm fine. And he was like, all right, have a good night. I, and I was like, yeah, thank you for the offer. I mean, you have a good one. So, he was like, yeah. So, uh, a couple minutes later, after riding my bike around the parking lot, um, I decided to uh, go to Quick Trip and get a soda, because at the time, I was pretty big into soda. I still do like soda, I just don't drink it that often. So, uh, we got a soda that night. Uh, I mixed... At the time, my favorite combination was um, uh, Mountain Dew Voltage and some Mountain Dew. Uh, it was like some pinkish Mountain Dew. It it makes it to it makes it like a purple color. It makes it like a purple color. And me and my friends, we would nickname this drink that Quick Trip Lean. Oh my God, my drug days are just coming back to me. At the time, I was like all famous and shit. So everyone really, everyone liked me around the time. So, um, so I got my soda and I just chilled in the parking lot, snapped a couple of my friends, got a picture with that girl, and then I saw another girl I knew that night. And, uh, she was with her boyfriend, so I was just like, yo, do you mind if I get a picture with her? And I don't know if I got a, I can't remember if I got a picture with her, but, um, I saw another girl that I knew this night and she was like, hey Vince, how are you doing? And I was like... Pretty good, girl. What about you? What about you? And she's like, oh, you know, just chill with my boyfriend, you know? Because, yeah, she has a boyfriend. I mean, cringe. Come on now. Y'all should seriously watch my video on why high school relationships aren't worth it. It'll save you in life. So, um... Now we get to the part where I almost died. So, I was exiting a Walmart parking lot. You know, I went left. Then I went right. And then I just went straight until I came to this intersection where a Chevy driver just floored on the gas pedal. And she rear-ended my bike. And I fell, like, I fell in the middle of the fucking road. And there was a couple witnesses, thankfully, saying, are you good? Are you good? Are you good? And the Chevy driver was just like, she pulled over to the left side of the road. Typical Chevy driver. 
And plus, this Chevy I got hit by was a fucking Suburban. A fucking Suburban. Like, so, let's, so, okay, we're going to say this for example. Here's why sedans are safer than SUVs. As if you were to get hit by a sedan, the sedan would most likely hit you by your waist. And you would just fling onto the vehicle. If you get hit by an SUV, SUVs are higher up. They have a more off-roading chance of running you over. You So you have a higher chance of going under the fucking SUV, right? So an SUV would be more up to here, where your chest is. And you would not only fling onto the vehicle, but you could also like slip off the vehicle. And then the SUV could just roll you over, run, run you over. That's kind of why sedans are safer. Only one benefit SUVs benefit you to is if you get into a crash. Because if you get into a crash in a fucking three-row Suburban, you're not going to feel nothing. Alright? You'll just, like, get a... Maybe your your hood might just fly up and stuff, but that's just mainly it. Otherwise, like, if, a, if you crash into a Suburban, like I say in my favorite car, a BMW 2 Series... My little coop, you are cooked. No more relaxing drives in the moonroof open and no more Melanie Martinez. So, um, yeah. Um, I fell in the middle of the road. My chest was fucking bleeding. Yes, my chest was literally bleeding. And at the time, my aunt was here. So I just minded my own business and just said, you know what? I'm fine. Like a couple hours later, the bleeding has stopped and I felt good. So then I snuck out and had a good had a good time with some girls. You know, we went to Overland Park just to chill for a couple hours and I went home just fine and went out with my night. And when I felt I somewhat injured my wrist, but not enough to let me in the hospital. If you want a story on how I fractured my wrist, then definitely stay tuned because I got more stories to make anyways. Okay, well, I gotta close this moonroof because it is raining and I can actually feel it coming in the car. Alright. I think it's... Well, Alright, well. That's really it for this video. If you like what you see, uh, comment, like, and subscribe. There we go. There you go. Comment, like, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends. And peace out.